sketch out the uh, arc of development of river transplantation, both at Apollo Hospitals and in India. Sudan with kidney failure and we discovered that the cause of the kidney failure was a deficiency of an enzyme in the 
the body, and if we had not done a liver transplant, the new kidney would have also failed. So this child underwent a combined liver kidney transplant. Luckily for him, he came with his twin sisters, one an engineer, the other is a doctor, one gave the right half of a lobe, the other a kidney, and this is this child that is charged with a combined liver kidney transplant. And sometimes we have uh, a predicament. Now this is baby RC from the Nepal and Philippines, and you can see how malnourished she is, and such a huge bloated belly full of fluid and a very large liver, and just skin and bones. Now, to be able to take on her transplant was a bit delayed because the chances of survival were very low, but without a transplant, she would have died in a matter of days. She underwent a transplant, and this is her six months later, and this is her five years later. This child, Amar, came to us from Qatar and you can see that she has yellow eyes and she's under this machine. So she has a very rare genetic disorder which necessitates that she has to be under this machine for 18 hours a day and despite that her eyes are still yellow. So no schooling, no entertainment, no travel. So the family opted for a transplant and this is her after her transplant with absolutely white eyes. And of course over the years we've been able to uh, win some hearts with uh, some of the kids and their their desires being fulfilled. For example, this boy wanted to meet Salman Khan, who uh, called him during the shooting of Sultan and spent the day with him. Then we had another child, uh, and this child came to us from Lahore, and he wanted to meet, not just meet Sachin Tendulkar, he actually wanted to play cricket with Sachin Tendulkar, and luckily the Indian cricket team was in Delhi, and Sachin decided to meet him and actually play cricket with him for an hour, and the next morning he got a liver transplant. We now have the ability to send an aircraft and get patients with acute leukophilia from other countries. We got a call from a patient's family in Bangladesh who needed to be airlifted. And you can see that at 4 a.m. there's a lot of uh, cloud activity around uh, Bangladesh and there was a storm growing. So we waited for the storm to clear. Of course, because it was Friday, which is a holiday, our embassy, uh, our high commission opened and issued visas in a matter of hours. Uh, we then sent our aircraft, tracked our aircraft, the aircraft received the child, we tracked the aircraft back into Indian airspace, we got everything ready for the transplant. This is the same child after a transplant, three days later, child had discharged and this is him back with his family. And of course, Krisha is exceptionally special for us because she became the 500th child and we specifically wanted a girl child to be the 500th because that is symbolic and that gives out a message and she comes from a small village outside Patna and, and she got transplanted uh, a few uh, months ago. And it gives us great joy when we see these beauties and these are uh, four little babies from different countries and look at them smiling and if you saw them before their transplant they were all yellow and, and very irritable and looked very unhealthy. And these are some of the patients that we transplanted from Philippines. And now I'm going to share with you uh, some of uh, the offerings from our patients that they sent. We have some very talented patients. This is baby Fatima, pre-transplant from Bombay. And this is Fatima now. <laughs> None of these uh, children would have survived for more than four weeks without being transplanted. And this is then several years later. Gandhiji had said a man can never be a woman's equal in the spirit and self the service with which nature has endowed her. And we saw this when it came to donating organs. We always had a problem when it came to dads, but when it came to moms, they were always so willing. And in the first um, 
decade or so, 72% of the donors were moms. So we are really happy that the narrative has changed and now it's half and half. So half the donors are moms, grandmoms, and half the donors are dads and granddads. This is Somiri. He was the second child to be transplanted in India in Nagaland, uh, and this was in 99. He was six years old at that time. He now works as an accountant in, in uh, Alberta, Canada, and he just completed 24 years post transplant last month. And this is, of course, the boy who started it all, Sanjay Kandaswani from, uh, from Kanchipuram. Uh, he was born in the Lilia Trasia, he had a joint guest, he did a liver transplant, and his great family decided to put forward their child for an operation that had never been performed successfully in India. And even more importantly, Sanjay's father decided to donate a part of his liver, something that, again, had not been done in India at that point in time. This is Sanjay pre-transplant, this is Sanjay 100 days at the time of his charge um, with his father and his mother. This is Sanjay a year later at the All India Transplant Games. This is Sanjay uh, three years later, five years later, six years later, nine years later, twelve years later, fifteen years later on the cover of the week magazine. That's when a post-it stamp was was issued by the government of India marking 15 years of transplantation. Sanjay graduated as a doctor, he completed his MBBS in 2021. And there is Sanjay post-transplant, post leading an absolutely long life. And uh, last week he called me and, and he called me, said, and he said, I want to share some news with you. I'm going to get engaged. And I'm going to be married soon. So uh, doctor is very nice. Emotional. Because I've known him for 25 years. Um, OS Madhu has said that there is no medicine like hope, no incentive so great, no tonic so powerful as the expectation of something better tomorrow. And we are so proud of the fact that we are able to offer hope. And I mean with this little gift that our patient sent to us from the Namaste. 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 Men who hate it is a 